Good morning. Um, I'm going to put together a uh, 11, um, but I thought, because I'm going to muck around with the sourdough, um, the, the, the sourdough mother, um, and in my case, good old George, um, I thought I would show you uh, exactly what I do so that you can follow my lead. Now, as you can see, that lacquer band is where the mix was made, um, and of course the rise is the difference between the top of the band and the top of the dough. So it's nearly doubled in uh, in its width. And you can see that there's uh, some nice air holes. Can you see that, Kerry? No problem. See? So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 100 grams of this starter into this spring, uh, spring top lid. Uh, and as you can see, it's really stretchy. So, I can't really see that scales really well, so... 35. 35. I can sort of see that. As you can see, it's really stretchy. And, and that's the sign of a well-fed sourdough mother. 77. 72. So I'll try and... Seventy-six. How's that? Ninety-five. Close. What are we getting to? We're getting to a hundred. Ninety-nine. Wow. One to go. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, look. Ordinarily, that would probably be enough. You know, it's probably taking that to one hundred. One hundred. There you go. That's exactly what we need. One hundred. Um, set the mother aside for the moment because I'm going to come back to that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in. Um, 50 grams of what I feed this, the mother with is organic stone ground whole wheat flour. Now that's important because it's really high in protein. It's got a great flavour and, and it works really well with the mother. Now I feed that mother every second day of equal amounts of flour and water, but I'll come back to that. So for the leaven, we want 50 grams of, um, of flour. I should have zeroed that really, but... No, you got to get to 150. Yep. Where are we at? 139. 139. 140. So it's probably like paint dry on for everyone on the video. 45, then we're waiting for you to stuff it up. 46, 47, 48, 49. Up. Oh, got 50. it. Okay, so... Well done. Okay, so now we're going to zero that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in 150 grams of plain... Uh, and this, in this instance, it's organic premium white baker's flour. Um, I'll send, I'll, I'll put some links on the video uh, for where you get this. Uh, I get it online. How much are we putting in? We're doing 150 of this. What are we up to? 67. 94. 129. Mm. It's like plain darts. 144, 7, <laughs> 8, 50. There you go. That's still the way I kept. all we need for in terms of the flour. And now we want 170 oh, mils of water. Tepid water. Um, I take it straight from the tap, but if you want to be f fussy, um, you could use cool boiled water. It just denatures the fluoride or the chlorine that often is in our water. I don't find it a problem, but where Are you, you live. Yeah. Yep. 139. 150. Oh, five. What are we doing? 170. Yep. 170. That's it. Um, I'm going to have a go doing this myself if Craig eats oh. me in the kitchen. All you really need to do is now to give this a really good mix and I'm not going to bore you with the mixing side of it but make sure there's no lumps in it. Most important. Um, you'll find that once I've mixed that up it'll sit at that lacquer band and when I go to use it it'll be way up here. Um, and that generally happens, that'll happen today probably around about three or four o'clock. So I could actually bake a loaf with this today and rather than have to sit it overnight. So. That's the leaven. Back to good old George.
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get I'm going to get rid of most of that. And I'm only going to leave. Well, we're going to put that down the sink, but. If by chance you want to make some of my sourdough crackers in the book, Ooh. that's a simple urban life. Uh, that recipe is in there, or if you wanted to use it for a second loaf, you could. Um, but in my instance, I only need enough for the one loaf. So I'm going to pour, as I say, most of this down the sink. So Maybe, I'll be right whoa, 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 stop. Maybe just pop it in another tin for me, and I'll make a loaf, yep. Okay, so... <laughs> the look of oh my goodness I don't think that's what he's thinking though but no, no, that's, that's okay. a nice version okay so I just want really enough to be the starter of of the next feed as you can see that's all I've left okay so don't don't build the, the sourdough mother what will happen is you, you'll denature it it'll what you'll weaken it and it won't rise well so don't be tempted to leave too much in there so back to zero again and now we're going to do 100 grams 100 grams of um 100 grams of flour which is still a bit hard to see from looking over the top, but 64. I'm doing this for your benefit, not mine. 85. 86. 94. 100. Now, I know I'm being very accurate, but for the sake of consistency in your lives, it really is important to be exact. That way, if you need to adjust something, you know exactly how much to adjust it by or increase by. Uh, now, this gets 100, and I actually use 110 mils of water. 100 is okay, but I find that it's just a tad um, stiff and hard uh, to mix, so that, oh, there we go, I've gone a bit over. If by chance you've done what I've done, Tip a little bit off and get it back to where it needs to be. That was close enough. The other thing I do is I pour in a very small amount of honey. This actually helps to feed the yeast, the wild yeasts that are in the, um, in the sourdough. This is also going to need to be mixed very, very well. More, even more so than the, uh, the leaven. Um, now the leaven is what you use. How much honey? Uh, well, you'll see in the tea. That's as much as I use. It's like a drop pretty well. It's, it's maybe about an eighth or a, or a quarter of a teaspoon or thereabouts, not very much. So, um, so just mix that up and um, set it. Once I've mixed this up, I will put this in the fridge with the lid ajar, just like though. Please don't put uh, lids on the top of your sourdoughs because they need to breathe. They need to breathe oxygen, they need to expel carbon dioxide. So if you close these lids, the, 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 the culture stops breathing and it will slowly but surely die. Okay, so stay tuned for the next one.